Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel, but today it's going to be a bit of a different video. I've shown you some gameplays of me playing the game actually online. I've shown you some tips about how to uh, find good route combos and what are good route combos, how to play the game of Madden on the field. But now I'm going to give you actually a little bit of a lineup tip, which I, which I think is going to be very helpful for you to find the best personnel for your scheme. Hey, this is Gregor from the future now. I've kind of like made this video a bit too long in my opinion but there's a reason for that and I'm going to explain that to you right now so you don't get mad if this video takes too long a lot of youtubers have already done videos on this tip but they haven't gotten gone as much in depth as I think they should have because uh, there's really much more to it than they uh, most of the time illustrate in their videos they mostly go over it just out of the far tight slot formation and not out of other formations such as the shotgun bunch week which i'm going to show you in this video or many other sh shotgun formations they don't talk about that which i think is pretty sad because that's a big part of this tip so the video is going to be uh, a bit longer than it probably is going to be from uh, uh, the video from other youtubers but still i think that's a positive because i'm just going to show you what, what what's going to be possible with this play or with this setup rather and what's going to make it even more effective than it already is. Before I'm going to, to that though, I have two questions for you. First of all, can you please hit the subscribe button? It will help me out a ton and I would greatly appreciate it really. It's, it means it, it would mean a lot to me. And secondly, are you guys interested in me actually going out and asking some YouTubers for wagers? I know that uh, there's a YouTuber out there. He's called Mesomatic. I don't know if you've watched a video of him before. He does a lot of wagers and he should definitely wouldn't mind uh, playing a game with me. So I think that we could make that happen. But I want you to tell me if you're interested in that. Because that's the only thing that matters to me. I mean, I'd lose the coins and it would be fine. I mean, there are a lot, lot of ways to get the coins back in Madden 20. But if you're not interested in those videos, then please let me know. And the third thing I want to tell you is that I'm a bit sick. You could probably tell it from my voice. Also, probably I don't look as fresh as I usually do. But that's why I'm gonna push through it and I have a lot of interesting tips for you in this video so I thought I'd just record the video because you probably would want to see it. Anyway, let's get on to the tip. Now the tip that I'm going to give you is something that you've probably seen from a lot of competitive players but I haven't, uh, I mean I've seen it like a month uh, prior to actually making this video uh, by some few, by a few players but I haven't gotten around to doing the video because I didn't think it was that big of an advantage but re with the receivers nowadays with the uh, with all of them being able to spin and juke i think there's like a rising need for the public to know this tip and also i didn't know some things that i know now so i definitely want to share this with you now it's only a madden ultimate team tip so for you guys that play rex out there i'm sorry this is just one of the advantages of playing uh, madden ultimate team that you can do this kind of stuff now what you need to do, on the lineup screen you need to only put in one halfback. You need to, you're only allowed to have one halfback uh, in the whole lineup basically. Something that I know a lot of people, screws, uh, screws a lot of people do, trying to do this, is they have right here in the specialist tab, in the ultimate team screen, they have a power halfback and it's not the same halfback as the third running back or the running back he has you have in your regular scheme or in the regular position just yeah you get what i'm saying so they have two halfbacks they have saquon barkley for example and then they there they might have like a uh not christian okoye because he's a he's a fullback but technically also you don't want a fullback so they have either two halfbacks or a halfback and a fullback or some kind of like some uh, combination of those things where they have two eligible running backs now we don't want that we want also we want to have a tight end here at fullback so we really only have this one halfback and no fullback one halfback no fullback that's the only way we can get this to work so we want a tight end on the in the fullback position now that's pretty much all we need i'm going to go now into a solo challenge to illustrate this point even further and show you how you can get uh, a wide receiver at halfback in many many different sets. I didn't know that was possible uh, Possible in this many set these many sets But yeah, you're gonna be I'm pre pretty sure you're going to be surprised by the 
uh, possibilities that come with this. You can even uh, get a, a wide receiver at halfback in the Gumball and Tree formation if I can get that out. So, very great, very glitchy in my opinion. Also, very interesting, and it just it opens up the playbook pretty much because when you can throw to your halfback and it's a wide receiver, that makes a lot of tighter windows uh, make make it throw possible. So, it opens up many more possibilities for outcomes. Enough rambling and babbling. I'm gonna see you out on the field when I'm actually going to show this to you. All right, so the first thing that uh, you probably think about when you hear about a wide receiver at half you think about the far tight slot formation, which is what most of the competitors actually have a wide receiver on there. It's pretty much, you, d you won't see a competitor that's running the uh, gun bunch offense out of the West Coast playbook that doesn't use this. So all you're going to do if you're on the screen right here, you're going to flip the right stick twice, no, three times to the right and then you have dual halfback. Now you'll see that I have number 81, Tori Holt, in the fullback and it's really glitchy. I'm going to motion snap Randy Moss and then you can see how much speed I have right here at the fullback position. Now it does not only work out of this formation. You can also go to the far pro formation and get the dual halfback in here. Or we can run a fullback dive out of this formation and it's just not quite as glitchy but still, 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 still a very, very good call. Now you can see even though I'm breaking tackles, pretty much I'm getting 10 yards a pop if they're not specifically counting for this type of an offense. Now the next thing, in the gun bounce offense, uh, look at... Uh, the number 26 halfback. See, he's now at the outside receiver, the single receiver, and now I have number 81 in in a halfback. That's my wide receiver, Tory Holt. I'm going to now do this and get out there. And this is basically, if you get a 95 wide, uh, speed wide receiver like Tyreek Hill out there, it's going to be a problem for your opponent now because. The gun bunch offense is so, so so great at passing the ball, and now you have having the threat of a 95 halfback or a 95 speed halfback. That's just a lot, a lot for defense to account for. Now we're not done yet. There are still a lot of formations you can get this. Uh, you can get your wide receiver in a halfback. So I'm going to show you this after I'm getting the ball back. Now something that I'm going to show you uh, right now is that this does not only work out of the West Coast offense. It also works for many, many different playbooks. If you have a dual t a dual halfback set, uh, which is pretty much any I form, strong, weak, near far, obviously. Single back is a bit tough. I, th I know there are some sets that allow it, but I don't know them off the top of my head. Well, I think uh, that there are some. It's, anyway, anyway, I'm I'm right here in the I form pro formation, and now we don't want the dual halfback because then. And number 81 is going to be the fullback. We want to find a set where the 81 is at the halfback position, which is dual halfback flip. I think that's what it's called. Now we're going to wait for the blocks to set up, and we're basically gone. I mean, it's only on arcade, but still, those are some uh, uh, huge running lanes that we can just uh, sprint through with 94 speed, 94, 93 speed, I think. 93 speed hold. Now. Not only out of iPhone Pro, Pro is that possible, also out of iPhone slot, dual halfback. We're just looking for a dual halfback swap. Number 81 is our halfback. And now we can we have basically two wide receivers who can get the ball on this play. Two really, really fast, quick playmakers, which is just going to be very hard for your opponent to deal with. Once again, uh, this is... Oh, 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 this is also possible out of pro, a strong pro. Here we have halfback wideout, that's the package. And it's always, it's, most of the time it's uh, different names. But it's still like you want to get the halfback out of the backfield at a wide receiver position. And then the wide receiver switches with the halfback. Pretty much is what usually happens. Now you see the blocking, the blocking is good and if the blocking holds up, there's pretty much nobody, nobody that can stop. Uh, player this quick out of the backfield. Now here once again you'll see I haven't even tried that yet but there has to be a way to get a half it's a wide receiver in a halfback. And there is. 
Now I have Frank Evan. I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much guaranteed to score on this. He's not the best blocker. Let's go. Okay, he can't even motion. That's cool though. Ooh. I thought I was going to score. I didn't. Well, yeah, let's keep going then. Uh, let's go to the weak close. Also, a very good formation. Yeah, there we go. Half a flanker. And now what you can do also out of this is you can uh, put a wide receiver in here. You can't. Oh, I might have just, just screwed screw it up. Okay, here's something to, no to notice. If I uh, put a wide receiver in here or if I make a substitution where the halfback is at, which you can see is the outside receiver. Uh... Then, nah, it's it's just I'm limited to my time here with the play clock. Now you can see I'm in the halfback solo package, which should in theory get me uh, a wide receiver at halfback. But because I switched uh, right here, it's not possible anymore. So be careful because if you do that once in the game, when you're in that set, at least I think, uh, you won't be able to get the wide receiver at the halfback position anymore that's pretty much all i have for you today he once again here you can here once again i'm able to get a wide receiver in at halfback and yeah it's just it's just insane yeah i shouldn't have flipped that anyways you get the point it's pretty much possible out of any uh, any formation with two halfbacks it's a bit uh tougher out of a pistol strong slot. I don't think there is one. There is one to get uh, the number 81 on the fullback. I don't think there's one to get him on the. No, there's not a chance to get him on the halfback. But still, find some place to get your receivers out of the backfield involved. For example, this doubles flares. Looks really good. Let's have like this would probably work. A motion snap him. And would you know, we just found a dot. <laughs> Alright, now I'm on the goal line, normal screen, and now I'm going to just flip through here to see if there's a way for me to get... Yeah, there is! Dual halfback swap. There, swap. there we go. Now I can get a 90, 93 wide receiver, speed wide receiver, out here, running the ball on the toss, which is just... That's just glitchy. That's glitchy. Now, thank you very much for watching. No, never mind, never mind. Excuse me, moi. I want to show if I can. Yeah, there we go. Dual halfback. That's it. Now I, got, I can actually do a fullback dive with Tori Holt. Which is glitchy too, you know? Pretty much everything. <laughs> Pretty much everything with, with the wide receiver at halfback is going to be glitchy. Now, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel if this video helped you out. Definitely think this is going to be a very popular tip, so uh, please also do share this. I don't care because there are many people that have talked about this, so do share this and also try to get your half a wide receiver in a halfback and see what it does for you in online play. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Peace. Ah. Truth for some robbers, and he's playing Batman. Fat, he's gonna rob him. Yeah. I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah, I got the Glock in my robbery. 17.